Okay, we are here this morning at Frank's Pontiac Parts in 29 Palms, California. We've got this 1965 Catalina 2 Plus 2 that we picked up out in Burbank about a year, year and a half ago. It was in a backyard. It had been sitting there since 1982, I believe. Uh, they bought it as a father and son project missing the engine there's no engine in this car and thought they were going to fix it and uh nothing ever happened it does have the transmission transmission goes with it all the linkage is there we'll kind of walk around it and then we'll go back and see some detail pretty darn nice car if you have an engine that you're looking to put into something this would be be a great vehicle to to put it into um, while I'm here I left the trunk popped so I didn't have to struggle with it uh, let me go ahead and open that and I'll show you trunk lids nice and solid the trunk lip looks good there were a couple tiny pinholes I found I think up at the top but very very little issue uh, trunk floor does have some some holes Typical stuff, but nothing you couldn't just patch up. You wouldn't have to replace it um, Quarters have never been touched. They look great uh, It's got reverb you can see it in there um, Close this up Decent tail panel Rear bumper Yeah, 1982. There's probably some rust in the window track, but the back window area looks really good. You can see the overall condition of this is really nice. There's a couple tiny rust spots um, behind the rear wheels. There, it looks like water got in the trunk and couldn't escape. We pulled the plugs. Uh, it seems no one ever pulls the plugs. So... We put tires on it, but they're a little small. 14-inch uh, tires are kind of hard to find nowadays. So the car would have came with a little bit larger tire, making it look a little bit better. Um, yeah, you can see how nice that fender is. That's just amazing. It's amazing what condition these cars can be in in Los Angeles. They just don't get the... The crazy heat we get out here in the desert or the wet and snow and whatnot that you get back east. I've got some stills of the hood popped. It's a little tough for me to pop the hood by myself. There's no rust in that hood. Um, the four-speed linkage, the Z-bar and all that is underneath the hood. It's all there. This fender is really nice too. It looks like it might be starting to get a little bit of something at the heel, but very little. Rockers are perfect. The car's black now. Didn't come black. It came uh, maroon. I'm not sure what Pontiac called it, that dark red. I probably should have looked that up ahead of time. Does have the option for the console, so it's got the optional console, which is really nice. Um, some idiot butchered the, a hole in the dash. We probably have another dash if somebody wanted to go there and not put an aftermarket. It does have factory in-dash gauges for the engine temperature and the oil pressure, which is cool. You know, the interior's torn up, but not, not horrible. You can see how the upper deck looks all super nice inside. Those are actually, these dark carpets are original carpets. They didn't make a reproduction that that fits like this. Those are originals. So kind of kind of rare. Uh, but uh, wouldn't take much. I mean, if somebody wanted to just bomb it around like it is, I could totally see that. Thought about it myself. But uh, there you go. So. Let me walk back around to the front here. Um, 1965 Pontiac 2 plus 2 
we do have a a clear California title registered in our name registered non-operative if you're a California buyer and those are the original plates that came with the car when it was brand new so there you go again 65 2 plus 2 available at Frank's Pontiac Parts frankspontiacparts.com 29 Palms California